Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. Starting off today with a Type 3 CME that occurred at 2 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time. A Type 3 indicates this CME was a possible 180 degree halo eruption. The CME model hasn't updated to show the direction of this CME as yet. Here is an eruption that occurred on the 28th, observed on the LASCOC2 filter. Now observe the Type 3 halo CME that occurred today. Now shown on the LASCOC3 filter, as it expands out through space. Sun Diver I spotted a Sun Diver on the 26th, here it is, if you look closely you can see it approaching the Sun, and not long after an eruption occurs, from the same location. Also the SOHO satellite, experienced, some distortion. In a moment, I'll zoom in a bit closer for a better observation. Cozy caves on the moon. The moon is a harsh mistress. During the day, temperatures soar to a scorching 260 Fahrenheit, then plummet to minus 280 Fahrenheit, at night. However, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, may have discovered places without these extremes. The temperature inside this lunar pit hovers around a comfortable 63 Fahrenheit. Pits were first discovered on the Moon in 2009, and since then, scientists have wondered if they led to caves that could be used as shelters from cosmic rays, solar radiation and micrometeorites. The pits are thought to be sections of collapsed lava tubes. Also found on Earth, lava tubes form when a crust forms over a river of lava, leaving a long, hollow tunnel. If the ceiling of a solidified lava tube collapses, it opens a pit that can lead into the cave-like tube. Solar eclipse season in space. Eclipse season for NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, has begun. Every day for the next three weeks, around 7.30 Coordinated Universal Time. Earth will pass between SDO and the Sun, producing images that look like this. This is a twice-a-year event for SDO caused by the alignment of the Sun and Earth as seen from the spacecraft's geosynchronous orbit. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the Sun for you.